Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we coming in with Bel Air. We on the roll here. This yeah, is man. season one, episode four, Canvases. Yeah, man. Baby, it's here. <laughs> Listen, I can't wait until the next episode. Yeah, drop. I need episode <laughs> five. Woo! I need episode five. Jeffrey! Yeah. Jeffrey! Okay, I see why you the house manager now, yeah, not the butler. Yeah, man. Oh, man, let's get into it. Yeah. So, in this episode, we got Uncle Phil needs to go out and get people to register to vote. And he decided to get Will and Carlton to work together because we know they haven't been getting along. Mm -hmm. So, Carlton works out a deal with Uncle Phil that, hey, if I can get at least X amount of voters, can I get the VIP um, seating at such and such place, which I don't know what the hell he was talking about, but obviously he wanted to go. So, Uncle Phil was like, that. yeah, deal. If you get X amount of voters, you can go. But, at this time, Will wasn't with them, but further in the episode, we saw that Hillary was actually talking to, um, to Will and let Will know that hey, around here you gotta learn how gotta to play the, the game. You gotta play the game, so you gotta work out deals. So, we, so Carlton got it on lock. You yeah. gotta learn how to get it on lock. Yeah, so she revealed to him that Carlton got a deal with this voter registration. So you better so get Will, one out of it. Yeah, so Will goes and works a deal out with Aunt Vi. Viv. Vi, well, Aunt Viv, I keep on calling her Aunt Vi. Lord. Yeah, Queen Sugar Man. Yeah, <laughs> works a deal out with her that if. He can get along with Carlton at the voter registration thing that he gets to bring Trey. Well, Trey gets to fly out to L.A. And so she goes for it. So now Will understands the game that's in the house <laughs> that if, you know, if he, you know, they trust him, he get to have more privileges, which we learned uh -huh. also in the last few episodes about that as well. All right, so they get to um, out in the field to, to get people to register to vote. And Carlton is going up there talking to these people. And everybody was slamming, like, boop. slamming the door in his face. And Will let them know it's because you don't, basically, you don't know the culture. Yeah. You just, you just being a politician right now. Let, let me show you how it's done. And so Will goes around and he was just getting... People to register left, right, and left, center. right, and center. And he was doing what he had to do: cutting yeah. grass, <laughs> yep. having tea time, yep. drinking lemonade, babysitting. <laughs> and he was like, "Because you have to connect with the people that you want to gain their trust." And um, Carlton was like, "So basically, you want to tell the people what it is that they want to hear to yeah. get their vote." And Will was like, "I don't see what the problem is." Right. You get what you want. I get, I get what, what I want. want. So Will suggests because later on that night there's going to be a private fundraiser. At the skating ring. So Will tells Carlton, you know what, we can kick this junk up a notch. Let's make that public. And uh -huh. Carlton was like, no, oh, Dad no. would never go for that. This is a private fundraiser. People paying like five hundred five hundred dollars a ticket to go. And he was like, Well, Will was like, Well, if we get we open it up to the public, the public can ask some questions so he can get in better touch in better touch with the black culture. <laughs> with the black culture. The black voters. Which we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna get there to the skating ring. But prior to that, we saw that Trey had called Will to let Will know, hey, Rashad know that you in LA, bruh. That you Watch in Bel Air. And not only that, he got some men on the ground looking for you right now. <laughs> like, well done. Like God knows that Rashad ain't just some some kick off the block. That Rashad got some reach. He got some reach. So we see that uh, Will decides to go looking for Uncle Phil. But when he was looking for Uncle, for Uncle Phil, Jeffrey was in his office. Mm -hmm. And so Jeffrey was like, uh, can, I help, you can I help you with something? And Will was like, hey, you know my situation and why I'm here. And Jeff was like, yeah, you got, into a, sure. you got into a fight with this bad guy. that wanted Rashad, to keep, right? Uh, Rashad Denton, right? And Will was looking at him like, like, how in the hell you know do you know that? You know to just be the house manager around here. And so Jeffrey tells Will, don't worry about don't that. Worry about it. it's, it's I'll care take of care of it. it. I'll take care of it. There's no need to worry your aunt and uncle about this. I'll take I care said, of it. wait, wait. So I was like, okay, so this ain't the Jeffrey that we remember <laughs> we <know>. from <laughs> Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. This, this, like... We what? on some whole nother level. We yeah. on some we on some ghosts and time kind yeah. of stuff. <laughs> like what the world, Jeffrey? Wait, boy, you yeah. So yeah, we're gonna talk about that. Uh -huh. So back 
out to the voter registration thing. We see Hillary and Ashley actually goes into Jazz's record shop because we know that Jazz he everything. is a jack of all trades. He, he an Uber driver. He owns his own record shop. Flower he shop. He the little flowers. Come on now. <laughs> all around hustler. Hello. So he talking to Hillary. Hillary is just impressed by the way he got all his records set up. Mm -hmm. But come to find out he got all this going, but he got no social media presence. <laughs> Not even Instagram. So Hillary helps him open up an Instagram, goes on Instagram, let people know about what he got going on and everything. But in the, in the middle of that, Ashley gets a text. Because you remember early in the episode, she got a text and on, on uh, uh, Vivid. Viv. On Viv. Did you Viv. On Viv. Asked her who that was. And she was like, nobody. Mm -hmm. So she tells Hillary, hey, I'll be back. I got to go outside. Mm -hmm. So she goes to some friend's house, and she gets booed up with this guy. And I was like, mm-mm, like, something oh, ain't right. Because well, when she came in the door, she was like, is such and such coming? Yeah. Obviously, who she wants to see is not, not already the there. I was like, okay, who's who she waiting for? So they start playing this game, and therefore we know it. Jeffrey shows up, like, it's time to go. I was like, how did, how... How did you, I said, how did you know strike she, number two. I was like, how did you know? And Jeffrey was like, if I couldn't keep up with you, why would your if parents pay me all this money? It's like if if I would let a kid sneak, sneak in, away, yeah, they get what? It's like, so what kind of CIA skit you on, Jeff? Who you work for? But why did the lady, the mama of the house, when she opened the door and let Jeffrey in, was looking like yeah, this bitch again, <laughs> yeah. like. <laughs> Like Jeffrey, I need to know. Like, what's your what's your social? Yeah, what you got going, got bro? Going? <laughs> yeah. But the one thing that I can say that I love about Jeffrey so far is whenever it comes to things with the kids, he kind of keeps it close to the vest within himself yeah. with the kids. So he yeah. has his own bonding relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like even do. with the will thing, don't don't bother your parents about this. I got this. Yeah. Ashley, I ain't gonna let your parents know about this, but what you ain't gonna keep doing is doing this. Yeah. So I like that relationship that yeah. they trust him enough that you got me, but I can't push and kick against it too yeah. much because I know you also got me. Right. Because he told her, like, you know, long as don't, um, a, a security uh, breach or something like yeah. that. Yeah, you, you know, I can keep between yeah, us. Cause, <laughs> and that's the thing when you're dealing with these whole um, high-profile families is that the kids don't understand that you sneaking off going to another neighborhood is an opportunity for somebody <clears throat> else to possibly try to exploit your family. Yeah. Kid, I mean, it's a whole lot of things. And you just innocent. You want to be a kid. Yep. But you, it don't even work like that. <laughs> So we we back over at the skating ring and to what you said about Jeffrey. So we at the skating ring. Um, Jeffrey was talking to Ashley and he invited her friends. And that's when we found out who she really was looking for was a little, little girl. I was like, okay. I said, oh, I said, okay, I knew okay. It. But when we was at the skating ring, have y'all seen that movie Roller Bounce that has a uh, little Bow Wow in it in the skate? This would it kind of remind me of. They just wasn't as good as skaters on here. No. <laughs> so this was Uncle Phil's opportunity at the skating ring to get the questions from the black community. And this is where the rubber met the road. You know, they was asking different questions and stuff. But but here was the thing. They was like, are you going to defund the, the police? police department? But in this episode, we find out that Lisa, her dad, is one, of the, is one of the police officers. No, he's and, the chief. Yeah, he's the chief. And you remember, he was at the uh, the Alpha um, Crawfish um, brawl as well. Yes. So when, when they Will got... Was, no, he was at... Was he at the Crawfish brawl? Yeah, he was there too. He was there. But he was also at the party in episode one. Yeah, he was. And Will came in running his mouth mm -hmm. about it. And I said, this is not yep. going to be good. So all episode, Aunt Viv was telling Uncle Phil, the reason why you're so out of touch with the black community is because you like to play it safe. Yeah. So you need to like step out of your comfort zone. So this was definitely a question outside of his comfort zone. And he was like, yeah. So when I become, you know, district attorney, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to defund the police. And you can see Lisa's daddy just burning a hole it through him. Face. Like, bro, you going to... This is what we doing This now? is what we... But that was him taking the stance of speaking of what and, the and community wants. And working for the people. Like Not you said, for the people. I work for the people. I don't work for the police department. Yeah. And I was like, um, 
you do realize that this is the same guy that when Will came in episode one, he was kind of letting him, letting everybody yeah. know that he was here <clears throat> on some, mm -mm -mm. Lisa's daddy gonna look that skit up. Yeah. Lisa's daddy is going to start snooping around and try to figure out who is Will, how did he get there? Because now he's pissed at the bank's family. And Fred. I think Fred gonna do it too. Yep. Oh, he's probably gonna work with Fred. And Uncle Phil has been paranoid about Fred. Yep. Every... Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, is it Robbie Rob? Robbie Rob on the Robbie job. Robbie Rob on the job. Yeah, Fred yeah, is Robbie the Rob, daddy. Yeah. Robbie Rob on the job. <laughs> yeah. I said, oh. But in this episode, this is when we learned that also Will realized that Lisa's dad was a no. police officer yep. mm -hmm. because he didn't notice this whole time because he had an incident with him in the bathroom and his PTSD started kicking mm -hmm. in in full gear. Yep. And he got mad with Lisa. was like, why didn't you Let tell me? And she was like, I didn't, I didn't think, think about it was telling, a, yeah. a thing. Like, and I get it. Like, that's not the first thing you, you can tell somebody, people. yeah. But in Will's situation, you don't know what I've been through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we get back to the house after the skating ring and they celebrating, you know, because Uncle Phil stepped up and and, and everybody received what he said. Uh, he about to get him some draws. Yeah. So on on uh on Viv walks up to Will and let Will know, hey, you did such a good job. So guess what? Trey, Trey can come through. So he runs to his room, calls Trey and be like, guess what, bro? You get to come to Bel Air. Um, we're gonna fly you out. And Trey was like, I got some good news for you too, bro. Man. Guess what? Rashad, Rashad that got shot. He was in the strip club and somebody rolled up and shot him. <laughs> and he was like, well, Will was like, well, who pulled the trigger? He was like, it don't even matter, matter, bro. I'll you know, with Rashad it. being in the grave, we in the clear, bro. And Will was like, what the fuck? Because we remember Jeffrey saying, don't worry bro. about it. <laughs> it's being taken care of. <laughs> so at this point, Will is like, who in the hell is Jeffrey and what kind of reach he got to deal with Rashad all the way in Philly? And like, how did you even know his name or even how to get to him? How did you even know he was in the strip club to shoot him? So now I'm looking at Jeffrey real sideways. Yeah, like, wait yeah. a minute, because we already don't see tattoo on the neck. Yeah. Taking pictures of Will, which I, I'm trying to figure out with how, why. So I'm trying to figure out, do... Uncle Phil and Aunt Viv know who Jeffrey is, or is Jeffrey moving in secret? I got a feeling that he moving in secret. Ain't no way, ain't no freaking way that Uncle Phil is co-signing him killing people in Philly. Uncle Phil did get Will out. I mean, he did, but that's different than killing somebody. Kind of. That's a whole... What y'all think? Like y'all think, <laughs> think they know Jeffrey's angle like Jeffrey is this undercover brother that just know how to deal with people? He the cartel. He just deal with people. <laughs> they just, they disappear. And you just don't know what happened. I said, wait one minute. When he told old boy with a tattoo on his neck, he was like, you know Rashad didn't is um, asking for more money. Like, he didn't go away. Yeah. So they don't pay yeah, this yeah, man. That's why I said I think Uncle Phil has something to do with it because where did Jeffrey get that kind of money to try to pay off Rashad for him to go away? Now I could see Uncle Phil them giving ten grand for Rashad to go away. That was the compromise. Like, okay, I understand what happened. Take the ten grand, go about your life, be good, leave Will alone. But, but was but like, now, <laughs> but now because you you want to be froggy and you want to leave him alone. Okay, we got you. It's time for the move you off the chest. Because old boy was like, you didn't even ask how much he's um asking for, and he said I didn't ask because I'm not with um I I <laughs> have I'm not gonna pay it. it. Yeah. And then just wind the window up and drove the hell off. And yeah. He said, Jeffrey, what the? Jeffrey said I'm a gangster. Jeffrey said you don't want to fuck with me. Yeah. <laughs> and we don't. Yeah. Jeffrey don't make so, Rashad to go away. So I can't wait to find out the story behind Jeffrey and and and, and this craziness, y'all. So, we're going to see y'all in episode five, man. <laughs> if Jeffrey don't get to us right. first. <laughs> yeah. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty, Two up. Two down. Holla, boo. <laughs>